You see, the idea that the black community can exercise effective power, political or otherwise, without simultaneously exercising economic power is a fantasy. In fact, capitalism without capital is just ism. <laughs> So the question becomes, what must we do now? And a renowned Jewish scholar, Dr. Gershon Cohen, I think stated the challenge clearly when he said, there can be no collective will and vision without a strong sense of identity. And there can be no strong sense of identity without a unifying purpose. So the question is, what are we unified around? What are we all down with? What are we all excited about? Where are we all going or want to go? What else be is there left to do? And it must be about enterprise and wealth. I can't make it any plainer than that. Why is wealth important? So I'm going to tell you something maybe no one has ever told you, but you now do not have an excuse that you don't know. And do you know that the tax system was set up for the landowner and the business owner? Mm -hmm. Why? Because landowners and business owners write the tax laws. And if we're not landowners and we own the fewest number of homes per capita of any cultural group in America, and we came over here on the Mayflower, and if you're not a business owner, and we own the fewest number of businesses per capita of any cultural group in this country, and again, we came over here on the Mayflower, you cannot fully exploit the American tax system. The American tax system will exploit you. Do you realize that there are 14,000 pages of tax codes, which is really institutionalized corruption, and the reason that Mitt Romney did not want you to see his tax returns, not because he did anything illegal, is because he was able to hire $250 an hour tax attorneys and CPAs to shield his money and to hide his money and to put his money in places using the tax codes of America. Right. So being that we are not landowners, and we are not business owners, we are fully exploited by the American tax system. We, on a per capita basis, probably pay the most taxes. Because we ain't got nothing to write off. I'm a landowner and a business owner, and I don't even want to tell you how much I get to write off every year. Double what the average American makes. And it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> and it's legal. Yeah. And that's what the system was designed for. Right. America is about equity and ownership. Equity and ownership. Let me say that differently. When you work for other people, you work to make them rich. Thus, we must stop resenting rich and successful people, even we don't, when we don't mean to, because you cannot attract or have what you resent. 